first vacuuming of the flex. Bought this on the 27th and <clears throat> I haven't had a chance to uh, clean it on the uh, inside yet. I washed it one time, but that was it. Oh, there we go. Those seats are kind of tough. Uh, I found out that you have to strike. Uh, I folded the seats down the other day and I couldn't get it to flip back up. It took me forever to figure out that I had to flip the seats over, then let them strike back before the seat backs would fold back up. Uh, so anyway, you see, and this is pretty much how it came when I bought it. Uh, I drove it off the lot. It was kind of dirty then. And of course it was ready, to, they were ready to move it that day. <laughs> yeah, well anyway. Like I said, we had bickered a lot over that and one thing led to another and I wound up driving it off the lot. But yeah, it's got a lot of dirt in it over here and I just hadn't had a chance to get around to cleaning it yet. I have the correct cargo net for it. I've mastered the seat flip, by the way. Uh, pull one. Well, I can't do this one hand. Pull one, the red handle, and seat flips forward. Pull two, and you pull this at the same time. I'm going to uh, set you down right here. Uh, maybe I'll set you down over here. And you pull two, and pull the long lanyard, and the seats flip forward. And to flip the seats back to the way that they came, you, there's a latch in here that you squeeze, and the seat flips forward, and you pull number two, and it pulls back. No, I take that back. Pull number one, and seats flip back up. And when I get done vacuuming back here, I'm just going to flip the seats back down again. I don't see me any, any time soon needing to haul passengers back here. All right, it's back to work. first part of it done. I have all of the dirt vacuumed out. There's just a little spot here which I have a hard time getting to with my vacuum cleaner. I had a special attachment that I made that you can get into those places. Oh yeah, I have a cold still because the video that I made last Sunday standing out in the rain, I think is 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 the uh, is when I got sick, I think. Um, yeah. Well, anyway, one thing I like is I like how Ford has finally done away with the cloth covered door panels. This is all vinyl, padded vinyl. Uh, huh. The vinyl separating right there. Okay, well that's no issue to me. I'm not gonna worry about that. But anyway, they were bad about putting, uh, covering the top part of their door panels with cloth and it would get dirty and it would look really bad after a little while. My red F-150, now my blue F-150, I've had to scrub the, the upper cloth several times to keep it clean. And this is starting to show a little bit of dirt also. You know, I have rolled the windows down on this one time since I've had this. No, it does not get driven very much. I think that I put almost 500 miles on it now. Yeah, I still drive that beast everywhere I go. <laughs> okay, back to work. 
I got the flex all cleaned up, washed. But there are some things I've run into that I do not like. And I thought that I would bring this to anyone else's attention who owns a flex. Uh, the doors down here at the bottom. I just washed a ton of goo, dirt, crud out of this bottom door lip. And this whole inside of this door was dirty. I am afraid that you really have to keep that clean, stay on top of this. Or otherwise, you're going to have problems with this door edge rusting through. Uh, but I think that I've caught it for now anyway. Uh, I don't know, you'd think that the seal down here would stop it, but it doesn't. Because this, all along through here, was dirty also. <coughs> so yeah, I'm not too thrilled about that design. Also, we have the inner panel, and right there is a hole, which I can fix that. Um, right there in the path of where it can get dirt and crud and mud thrown in here and cause an inner fender to rust. Whatever's in behind here. I will be fixing that. No biggie. But other than that, uh, I think it's, I didn't find any other issues I didn't really like. Uh, of course, same problem back here, you know, it's all, you know, all this mud, you know, there was just dirt uh, thrown up onto this rocker panel. And there was not quite as much uh, dirt on this door edge as there was. See, there's still a little bit of residue right there where I didn't get it all. That is my only big issue. And I don't know, I might work on something to uh, try to keep water out of that. I don't know what I'm going to do just yet, but I'll try to think of something. But like I said, I'm afraid that a few years down the road, you'll start seeing these flexes with the door edges resting out on them. Oh, it's a nice day. It's probably 60, 65 degrees. Uh, yeah, short sleeves. <coughs> well, anyway, I'm going to let this dry off a little bit. I'm going to go in and take a break for a while. Yay. Thanks for watching.